one hot evening in Padua, they carried him up onto the roof, and he could look out over the top of the town. There were chimney swifts in the sky. After a while, it got dark, and the searchlights came out. The others went down took the bottles with them. He and Luz could hear them below on the balcony. Luz sat on the bed. She was cool and fresh in the hot night. Luz stayed on night duty for three months. And they were glad to let her. When they operated on him, she prepared him for the operating table. They had a joke about friend or enema. He went under the anesthetic holding tight onto himself so he would not blab about anything during this silly talking time. After he got on crutches, he used to take the temperatures so Luz would not have to get up from the bed. There were only a few patients, and they all knew about it. They all liked Luz. And he walked back along the halls. He, could, he thought of Luz in his bed. Before he went back to the front, they went to the Duomo and prayed. It was dim and quiet. There were other people praying. They wanted to get married. But there was not enough time for the bands, and neither of them had birth certificates. They felt they were married, but they wanted everyone to know about it and to make it so they could not lose it. Luz wrote him many letters, and he never got any of them until after the armistice. Fifteen came in a bunch to the front, and he sorted them by the dates, and he read them all straight through. They were all about the hospital and how much she loved him how it was impossible to get along without him, and how terrible it was missing him at night. After the armistice, they agreed he should go home to get a job so they might be married. Luz would not come home until he had a good job and could come to New York to meet her. It was understood he would not drink. And he did not want to see his friends or anyone in the States, only to get a job and be married. On the train from Padua to Milan, they quarreled about her not being willing to come home at once. When they said goodbye in the station at Milan, they kissed goodbye, but we're not finished with the quarrel. He felt sick about saying goodbye like that. He went to America on a boat from Genoa. Luz went back to Pordon to open a hospital. It was lonely, rainy there, and there was a battalion of Arditi quartered in the town living in the muddy, rainy town in the winter. The major of the battalion made love to Luz, and she had never known Italians before, and finally wrote to the States that theirs had only been a boy and girl affair. She was sorry, and she knew he would probably not be able to understand, but might someday forgive her and be grateful to her. And she expected absolutely unexpectedly to be married in the spring. She loved him as always, but she realized now it was only a boy and girl love. She hoped he would have a great career and believed in him, absolutely. She knew it was for the best. The Major did not marry her in the spring, or any other time. Luz never got an answer to the letter to Chicago about it. A short time after, he contracted gonorrhea from a sales girl in a loop store while riding in a taxi cab through Lincoln Park. 